Hello ladies, gentlemen, and the unknown species. Welcome back to another Maple Story video. Finally the Sickness Knight revamp came out. Um actually it came out I think yesterday. Was it the fifth that it came out or was it the fourth? Well today's the sixth anyways. Um I did play it yesterday. Oh I did play Maple Story yesterday, but I didn't make a video. I did get a new hat, so let me equip that since I'm level 90 now. Alright. Um I wow, why am I lagging? Oh my god! I'm lagging! Oh my god! Oh my god! I must have too much, too many programs opened. I don't really know what I have opened. Um, I think I do have a lot of videos open though. Anyways, uh, programs open, I should say. Anyways, I just want to show the new. First of all, the new resolution. As you can see, since you're watching the video, it's now widescreen. You probably can't tell the resolution because it's, YouTube doesn't tell you what resolution you're watching it on. It only tells you like 360, 480, 720, 240, 1080, some, something like that. Anyways, it is now 1366 by 768. And I am a big fan of that because I like widescreen. And I'm a, also a windowed person. I, I like playing games on windowed mode. My ideal resolution though is 1600 by 900. So... If they ever, hopefully, they upgrade to that resolution one day, if I continue playing that long. Anyways, they have the new link manager, which now all of your link skills are going to be located right here. And then this tells you what, if your link skill, what person it's linked to. It's, right now it's linked on my paladin. And then right here, it just tells you what the link skill does. I really like that. It's a lot more organized now. Easy easy on the eyes easy to read understandable very organized I like that um just regular skill I, I like this skill in, in dexterity increases one every two level ups to character gains so automatically I gain one dexterity every two levels so that means since I'm level 90 I've already gained 45 extra dex, dex which is like I think that's like an additional five to ten weapon attack I've gained. It's 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 equivalent to five to ten weapon attack. And if you have a lot of percent dex, then that's equivalent to a lot more. I don't really have that much. I think maybe I have like forty or thirty. Let's count three, six, six, ten, thirteen, uh, thirteen, seventeen. Um, 17 plus 6, that's 23. 23 plus 6 is 29. So I have 29% dex. I don't know if that's all good. That's probably bad for most of you pros. But, oh wow. This increases my, my, de it's, it's weaker than this, but it increases. That's weird stuff, yo. <laughs> Anyways, let me talk about the skills now. First, uh, let me buff myself. I have... With my, like, pretty not... Like, they're just average equips. I have 10k range. And actually, it could increase more because I do have, um... I do have... Um, another passive skill that I can get to increase my weapon attack by a little bit. This is the best move ever, ever Wind Walk. You don't even have to walk anymore. You can just use the wind walk and it does all the walking for you. This is a passive skill that increases your um, range. Um, you know how far your arrows go. The new, the new um, summon skill though. This now has become um, a, 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 a supportive skill and it increases your damage by 10%. I love that. I love it so much. It's really awesome. And then we have Breeze Arrow. Which... If you want to see it on monsters, it's kind of neat. Three hits, and it does pretty good damage, actually. Of course, compared to like second job and third job, it's not really all that good. But you don't, you know, you don't even max it. And then this is one walk, awesome skill ever. Also, every Cygnus Knight gets a flash jump at level zero, so here's the flash jump. Wee, 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 wee. All right, second job. Second job, we have this move, which is actually a really good move. I don't really use it that often because, I don't know, I don't really like using it. I like using this skill more. It just looks so much cooler. Gust, gust Arrow, I have it set to... It's my mobbing skill, essentially. 
my distance mob skill. When I'm close up, I use this one, but when I'm far away, I use this one. And then we have this like sort of final attack thing that I really don't understand at all because sometimes the arrows are green and other times the arrows are purple and it just boggles my mind. And then we have soul arrow, but this soul arrow gives 10% crit. The reason it gives 10% crit is because first job they don't have a crit thing. They don't have, you know how all bowmen get that 40% crit at first job? Um, the cool thing about them is that they don't get it. It's a, it's a little bit more confusing, so I only have 28% crit, but I heard in fourth job you get um, sharp eyes plus another skill that increases your crit, so, so essentially you would have about the same amount of crit at the end of fourth job that you would as a regular bowman. So that's kind of cool. We have booster, which is the same booster as always. They didn't renew the animations, the stupid peoples that they are. Then we have this awesome spiral spiral attack. It pushes back mobs like crazy. They just fly away. Look at this. Fly or they can just die. Fly or they can just die. And then this is like my favorite skill ever. Because it just, it's a good distance skill. And then a lot of times you get um the extra arrows, which I'm not getting any bonus arrows right now. Probably because they're dying in one hit. But if they had more HP, I would get it. Anyways, we can go on to third job. And this arrow, this is sort of like an arrow rain thing. But you can move it, and it's really cool. I don't know how long it lasts for, something like 10 seconds. I only kept it at 1 because you don't master it. A lot of people say to like increase it to like 10 or 14, like immediately. But I was like, nah, because I don't really use I mean, I use the skill often, but... I just, I'd, I'd, I'd rather just leave it at 1 because I'm not going to max it. Um, I love, I love the new puppet. It's, it's a freaking emerald flower and it just looks so, it just looks so beautiful. I just love it. I love it so much. And look, if you see on the bottom right here, it looks like dirt's coming out. So it looks like it's a plant, like a plant just grew out of nowhere. So I just love it so much. This is an awesome thing that increases your attack speed and your critical as well as HP and weapon attack. And then this is the second win that if it's a passive skill that if you get hit it sort of blocks and then you get um, 1000 defense and you get weapon attack for 5 seconds. I think the avoidability 30% is like forever. It's just like there forever. I don't think you have to activate it for it. I, and I don't understand, like, after a void plus 15, so it just adds, like, random 15% of void. <laughs> like, that doesn't seem like it would be really useful. I love Featherweight, though. It decreases your damage by 30%, so that's almost one-third. Plus, increases your abnormal status and elemental resistance. So that means, like, fire damage or, or like, poison damage is going to do 10% less damage, essentially. And all damage is gonna do 10% less and like seal and like um darkness I have a 10% resistance to it so there's a 10% chance that I'm not gonna get sealed or darkness if they use it which is pretty damn good and then we have this piercing arrow I think it only hits one enemy but it does quite a bit of damage so I, I'm going to master it when I get to 100 of course I'll have this skill mastered and then the rest of my points will be in this so that's just I just wanted to make a quick little video on it. I didn't really have anything planned I just wanted to show off that Cygnus Knight revamp is out and wind archers are pretty damn cool Oh, this skill looks really awesome by the way Unfortunately, it only hits one enemy. I don't really understand this final attack crap thingy mabobber it just confuses my mind to block the me <laughs> anyways when I get four job I'll make videos on that um I think that's about it oh they did revamp monster park uh they also re, re added monster park extreme the only thing is that you only get oops you only get three tickets a day instead of ten tickets a day it is kind of bad but monster park is now for level 70 to 140 I do think that what they're gonna do is so probably increase it to five tickets later on and also this is the coolest thing ever talk to now and she appears right there 
That is the coolest thing ever. I hope they do that with more NPCs. I am looking forward to it to no end. Anyways, I think I've been chatting for about 10 minutes. So thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. But until next time, don't forget to rub the rubber ducky.